It has been a nightmare for downtown commuters for years. The congested and always under construction Jane Byrne Interchange. Now the state says there is some relief on the way, but the project is still years from completion. And over the years, the price tag has grown substantially. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live near I-290. And Tim, some changes are in the works now. Erica and Brad, two ramps will be opening up at the interchange over the weekend. Some lanes will be opening up over the next few days. The state says that will ease some congestion after project delays. Drivers hope that's true. Actually, I'm planning on moving closer to the loop, unfortunately, just so I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to take this long, obviously. It's a project that's frustrated drivers since it started in 2013. It was supposed to be done in 2019, but the state says it won't be done until the fall of 2022. What's caused it to be pushed back to 2022? This project is a very complicated project. IDOT regional engineer Anthony Quigley says one of the main causes of the delay was the aging infrastructure and road work needed at another location, I-55 and Lakeshore Drive. An IDOT spokesperson says the state did not realize how bad the conditions were at that spot until after the Jane Byrne work started. Project planners decided not to work on the two projects simultaneously because it would be too much of a traffic burden for the city. In the meantime, the price tag has grown on the Jane Byrne project. The original estimated construction cost was $475 million. Now that number is up to $600 million. So what's caused it to go so much higher? So, I mean, with, with the impacts and the delays and the coordination, uh, you know, we have some costs that go up over the time. Uh, and uh, with the coordination for to do the work at uh, I-55 and Lakeshore Drive. So that's been the, the big reasons for the cost. Saturday morning, the inbound Dan Ryan ramp to inbound Ida B. Wells Drive will open. The second lane of the Dan Ryan flyover ramp will also open to the outbound Eisenhower. And the Morgan Street exit ramp will open. And the state says next week they will open another lane on the outbound Eisenhower between Halstead and Racine. As crews work to make all these changes happen, there will be even more detours and more congestion over the next few days. The state is asking people to stay alert on the road. Live in the near west side, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.